Now, I think we all love a freebie, and today we're going to be taking a look at Renmo Library, which is a library of pre-built templates that you can use with Bricks Builder, and at this point in time, they are all completely free. I understand that in the future, they probably are going to bring some pro different templates in, but right now, everything you see on here is free and will remain free, with new additions coming out apparently weekly. But take all that with a pinch of salt. Let's just take a look at what's here right now. Now, this is currently a beta setup. But if we take a quick look through, you can see we can find more information out about the whole library, all those kind of things. Have a little check out. Links in the description for you to take a look. No affiliation. Just think it's pretty cool. If we hop over to the free components, you can see everything now is broken down into the different sections. So from navigator bars to footers, hero sections, right the way through to gallery sections. And these are basically starting point templates, but they're a great starting point should you have a lack of inspiration or you want to quickly wireframe something up for a demo for a client, whatever reason. As you can see, if we go, for example, to something like the hero sections, we now have a selection of different hero sections, or with just basic placeholder information, text, buttons, images, those kinds of things. And what you need to do is just grab whichever one you like. So let's say we like the look of this one. We'll click on preview. That will open up a new tab and give us, as its name suggests, a preview of what it will look like. All we need to do is copy that component, head over into our website, open up a Bricks Builder with a page, template, whatever you're working with. And all we need to do is open up the structure panel and we can simply select Command or Control V to paste it. And that now pastes in the entire structure of that particular template. That's basically it. Now we can just customize this. We can pull in what we want. We can change the styling, apply our own global classes, all those kinds of things. So let me quickly show you how easy it is to do. Let's grab this section to start off with, and you can see if we come over into the style, come into background, we've got this placeholder for an image. So all we need to do is choose an image that we want to use. I'll grab this one of a very happy looking lady. Next up, we can come into any of the other component sections. So for example, we may want to grab this sort of currently purple area. We can grab that from here. We can change the color over to any of our global colors. For this example, let's set it to be white. And obviously the problem there is now we've got a problem with the colors. Let's just simply go and select any of these. Grab our heading, for example, come into typography, change this over. We set it to our global sort of accent color. Same thing goes for our typography in the second section. And then we've got our buttons. Now, what we can do and what isn't done at this point is these are not using global classes. So we are effectively changing anything in an individual instance. Now, this may be a little bit counterintuitive for some users, and I totally agree that it would be nice to have those global classes set up. But there are reasons why it's better to have it without them. We can now go and assign what we want. So for example, I'll choose this first button and I've already created a global style for my button. So all I need to do is come to the top, say this is a button primary, we'll select that. And now that changes it over to the color scheme, the typography, the styling and so on. Same thing goes for the secondary button. I need to come up, I can grab my own custom global style, choose that to be secondary. And now we've styled that button up the way we want. And now I can just apply anything else that I want. So for example, I may want to put a little bit of drop shadow around this. Let's go and do just that. Just going to put some basic starting values in, which I can tweak should I want to afterwards, and obviously adjust the transparency on there. Drop the spread down. And we now have a kind of nice looking drop shadow effect that makes it have that three dimensionality to it. These are obviously being set up as well to work across mobile, tablet, desktop, and so on. So if we switch over to tablet, for example, you can see that adjusts the design. And we are free to change anything we want about this. We may want to adjust the styling, adjust the backgrounds, all those kinds of things. Same goes for mobile landscape, same goes for the portrait. We can adjust as we see fit, but we've got our starting point and we can just use the default values. And now what we can do is we can hop back over and let's go and grab a different section. So for now, let's say we want to grab something like a team section. You can see we've got a bunch of different designs and layouts. We may change that and say we want to put an FAQ in there. And again, we've got an FAQ section. For this though, let's say we want a call to action. Say I like the look of one of these. Say I like the look of this one. We can preview this and do the same again. Copy that component hop over into our page, we'll close this section down and we'll just do Control or Command V to paste the next section in, scroll underneath and you can see there's our section and now we can customize and adjust whatever we want. So again, the same thing applies, grab our first button, come over into our global classes, set this to be primary, choose our second button, set this to be secondary. 
So within a couple of moments, you can very easily customize the look of this. Let's come into our layout and give us a bit of space inside here. We'll link the two of these and we'll say something like five rem for the top and bottom. And now we've got a little bit more space there. And then once we've done our spacing, we can easily then just change anything else we want. So we may say we want to put a bit of space below these buttons. We'll select the block that they're in. Again, come into our layout, add a bit of space at the bottom there. We'll remove the top. We'll just say one rem for the top. And for the bottom, we'll say something like 2.5 rem. In other words, 25 pixels. You can see now we're just fine tuning and finessing what we have here. And then we can just simply come in and change the images to whatever we want. And that is effectively how easy it is to start using the Renmo library. Now, there's one other thing I want to draw your attention to before we finish up here. Let's open up that same call to action. We'll preview it. And you'll find when we do the copy component, we get a little pop-up that tells us what to do. But also underneath it says component elements will dynamically adjust to match your theme styles. So if you set up theme styles, they will adjust accordingly. Personally, I do tend to prefer global classes. I think it's a bit more flexible. And hopefully what you've seen is it's just as quick and easy to set those at one time and then quickly apply them where you need to throughout your overall design using these template starter points. But that basically is what the Renmo library is all about. I think it's a great starting point. There's some great little designs inside you. And if you are lacking inspiration or you just want a quick up and running with a kind of basic wireframe mockup, you can use something like this for absolutely free. But as always, I'd welcome your feedback on this. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to learn more about working with Bricks Builder, check out my Bricks Builder website called learnbricksbuilder.com. Link in the description down below. And also, if you want to take things even further, I've got a course that shows you how to use Figma alongside Bricks Builder to create a custom landing page and then rebuild it inside Bricks Builder step by step in easy, bite-sized, manageable pieces. Link again is in the description down below. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.